So, <laughs> <laughs> and I was also like getting a little disgusted. Then and there, I was not attracted to anyone. Because they were not speaking to you. Obviously, like that's a big red flag. Relate! Max, relate. This has happened to me. He was your boyfriend? What? Yeah, I don't trust you. <laughs> yeah. I disagree. Are you letting me talk now? You will stand there when you're wearing a board. Okay guys, so we had put up a poll. Tell us your turn off on boys and uh, we're gonna make a video of it. <gasps> so we're gonna read it and hum react karenge. Okay, what do we think? It makes sense or not? Oh, let's go, that's class! The first one is bad body odor. In a guy? Hmm. What what are your thoughts on it? Uh, so, there are two scenarios. If the person has come, let's say, from after playing a sport mm -hmm. or something, then it's okay. But I have had instances where in my college, I was sitting with, uh, next to someone so, where or them, evidently, I knew that maybe this person has not showered. So, <laughs> so voila, and I was also like getting a little disgusted and it was like, bro, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to sit next to this person again. <laughs> It's impression sa ho jata hai if you Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can relate. I mean my brother sometimes smells really bad. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like taking <laughs> brother exposing a brother. No what a face. Thank you. So I uh, was dating this guy and I was really attracted to him physically. Huh. I mean it's not pata nahi uske mein, uh, personality wise, but I was really attracted to him physically. And then we were at the theater, like movie theater, and uh, he just had lunch. And I think he had onions and tomato. Yes, in movie theaters, you have to come really close to the person you're talking to so that they can hear, right? Uh -huh. So he came close to me to tell me something, and yo, disgusting. Then and there, I was not attracted to him anymore. I think bad breath be hai kai pe. Acha. So we'll skip that question then. Answer ho gaya. Yeah. Especially agar, if you're going on a movie date or something, so I think thoda sa dhyan rakhna. Mouth freshener. Especially if you're gonna, going with the intention, maybe you all might kiss. <laughs> if it's a bad movie. <laughs> When he's too touchy in the first meet and doesn't bother about consent, obviously, like that's a big red flag. It's attractive when a guy gives you his space, when it gives you your space, un unless you yourself want to <laughs> be a bit touchy feely. Like you can, like I think you can touch not only the girl, the guy both ways. Yeah, you yeah. can touch either only when both are comfortable and. Uh, hai. Like first meet me, one of the person is not comfortable. Like in this case, the girl was not comfortable. He was being too touchy. You know? I personally have been with guys who always maintain the space. Have you? Been <laughs> some, no, no. Like I had to. I, I had to initiate and tell them that okay, I'm comfortable. You can touch me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that is very. Yeah, okay. hmm. When a boy doesn't understand the emotions of a girl and acts as if he is not interested to know about it. Hmm. I feel like if a guy likes you, he will try to, mm -hmm. right? Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? But if a guy doesn't like you and you are going towards him, he understand me. Or maybe if a boy is just pretending to like you but he's not like really paying attention, he just wants to like. I mean, don't give the time of your day to people who are not uh, emotionally intelligent, I guess. Yeah, like understanding the, your partner and making sure you connect with the emotions and all is important. Yeah. yeah. Is not, is like not cool. A lot of guys can't do that. Uh, they're not in touch with their feelings, don't know what they want. They're nice people, but they're not self-aware about what they feel. So they also, if they can't help themselves, how can they help you, you know, I think. What the f***? <laughs> Why are you talking with Riyah and Saki? Uh, when they ask, can we flash? Haan. Ye to bahut hi cheap or disgusting hai. Has anyone done that? Can we flash? As in, I think what this person meant like asking for nudes and flashing oh, his love. Oh, well, oh. I think that's what this person meant and yeah, that's it. I don't like it at all. Like I hate people who ask you like for nudes and okay, 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 okay. Like, nudes. Nudes ke liye jo bhi bye. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, it's I like, mean, I'm not comfortable with it. So. Same. And I don't even like some people who are like, but why can't you? Like, you can't trust me or... Like, I yeah, don't I don't trust you. Why did you just say Akash? I don't know. I don't know any Akash. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
<laughs> office boys ni biasa <laughs> uh, toxic masculinity i've never dated people uh, who have that maybe when i was younger jab khud figure out nahi kiya tha ladkon ne apne bare mein aur maine bhi nahi kiya tha but um, right now i've not dated anyone who has who's suffering from yeah that. but i get it it's it's toxic like i was like once a friend like not like my guy and then uh not even a very good friend i was just uh we were just out somewhere and then kuch so staff se baat karna tha or something and then because the staff three staff members were like all guys he just literally like i was talking about some work and he literally told me are let me talk now you go stand there why are you getting involved whoa 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 just because he thought he should do like he is a guy he is a man so he should do the talking and the work later so when i was like bro that's, ah. that's literally so disgusting of you to think that just because i'm a female i can't do work related talk to the staff members and have you ever noticed like usually the waiters come up to the guy for the bill yeah 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 dates mein uh, so yesterday i told you right the guy i met i paid his bill for no reason <laughs> like i paid his bill my bill and i talked to the waiter because i consciously made that decision because before this uh, i used to be very passive on dates hmm. so this time i took the it was not a date again but i took the initiative and it felt really good with me also aise hota hai that the waiter comes in and then i remove maybe my card so the he's like oh to aise ghoom ke aata hai wo table mein bhai i mean notice kare even hotel yeah. staff and everything they all talk to the guy first um oh, and i have noticed uh, this everywhere else matlab i was at this cafe in hyderabad i was looking noticing this couple and no waiter bar bar bande ke paas hi aa raha tha so i say like, okay this is something that we need to change and yeah why they aren't listening but pretend to listen because they <gasps> want to see with you <laughs> relate max relate ye yeah, this has happened to me <laughs> they're just interested in Yeah, I remember. I think he also told me that he zoned out, and I, me having no self-respect during that time, I was like, oh, okay. Should have just left there and then and there. You know what he told me? I think I was talking about my family, <laughs> like something very important. And the, and we were at a dinner date. It was a candlelight dinner, and then he just zoned out. And then he uh, he told me that sometimes he just zone out. <laughs> he just said that after I had heard the whole Mahabharata. So then you know sometimes I just pretend that I'm listening. and then i don't know i hope you never called him back or i mean uh, we broke up <laughs> he was your boyfriend what yeah. what did he say hey. oh, yeah kind of i don't count him as my boyfriend though because it was not that long that relationship not anything else that i'm talking about coffee zyada ho gayi kya he wears chappals on jeans i don't care I personally don't care. Ah, I mean, bro, like when it comes to dressing, like I am either too well dressed or I'm dressed like trash. Like <laughs> it's like that. You are not like other girls. Ah, mm. this is an actual turn off. I mean, इससे थोड़ा सा पता चल जाता है कि वो misogynist है. I swear. ये तो for sure. Like बाकी सारी लड़कियाँ ख़राब हैं, तुम ही अच्छी हो सिर्फ. You're different, yeah. Not like the other girls I've met. ये तो मैं ही बोलती हूँ. I am exactly like the other girls you said <laughs> because I am a girl. Yeah. I'm just pretending to be uh, I think you know I saw a reel where the girl he where the guy says ki I love uh, talking to you you're not like other girls. So she says ki it's because I am literally mimicking you you're talking to yourself. <laughs> I've been guilty of doing that. If a guy has a hobby I pretend to know a lot about it like it but I've stopped doing that. Mm-hmm. It doesn't help in the long run. At one point, they will find out that you're not into it. <laughs> not Ria, her ex- exposing her own <laughs> her own tricks and tips. Unhygienic nails. Yeah, that is a turn off. Yeah, like it. It tells how hygienic they are. Baki parts maybe. Yeah, I mean, I also don't do manicure and all. Like literally, I'm not the nail nail kind of person kind of girl. But same. my nails are clean. Yeah, same. When they just want to see a girl naked. Huh? Exactly like. Any girl naked, not only you. And it feels special when it's just you. But any girl, yeah, it's kind of a turn off. Yeah, that's a big red flag. Someone who doesn't have any standards. <laughs> that's a red flag. Egoistic. Ha ha. Have you met people who are like that? I have come across people who are like who think that throwing attitude and ego will make them look cool and uh, will make me needy and. 
like oh you know why is he not giving me attention and why is he not like that but in my case it's like complete opposite like if someone's doing that to me please continue and don't even look back cuz i'm not going to like beg and plead and like run that's like, manipulative you know yeah the yeah to I regret everything. I regret it. And also, um, I think I don't like guys with no at all attitude. Like who are not striving to improve themselves, learn new things. You know, they think they know everything. Ah, I know what you're saying. Mm. Yeah, I can relate to this like another <laughs> level. <laughs> People who are like who think they are so intelligent, who you know it all. Bro, you should do this. You should do that. I'm not just saying that way. Really, like even. some guy friends or whatever you should yeah. like they don't know shit about man's my thing and they like should do that let's go try to let's go try to stop it get some help and he doesn't use emojis <laughs> so. yeah 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 i agree i have this friend yeah you don't know the tone of the message na then because this guy once told me that uh, he doesn't like talking to girls who only talk about netflix he prefers uh, talking to people who also like to talk about economics and stuff ये क्या है तो आई वाज लाइक दैट इज सो जजमेंटल ऑफ यू इफ समवन टॉक्स अबाउट नेटफ्लिक्स दैट डू मीन दैट दे आर डम एंड यू थिंक एंड यू नो एंड देन ही टोल्ड मी कि सी यू टुक इट द रॉन्ग वे बिकॉज़ आई वाज सेइंग इट इन अ मजाक वाला टोन आई वाज लाइक मजाक वाला टोन है तो इमोजीज यूज कर इमोजीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज यूज इमोजीज व्हाई डू आई नॉट हैव एनीवन हु डजंट यूज इमोजीज सो आई डोंट लाइक नो द डिफरेंस I used to also not emoji, uh, not use emojis, and I, that used to piss people off. Even if I didn't like mean yeah. to piss them off, yeah. So emojis are really important. When they smoke, I mean, I mean that's personal. Yeah, I mean I, mean, uh, I don't really care, but it's uh. attractive when a guy is going to live longer. <laughs> you know, he doesn't laugh often. He doesn't laugh often. I mean, he's very funny. I really like Mihir. Because he laughs a lot. I saw मतलब मेरे गंदे रुख से भी हंस रहा था वो. तो Mihir is our common friend. Yeah, friend. Friend, yeah. I would say, हाँ, I would like to be around someone who laughs. Laughs and is jolly. These are actually really good ones, you know? Mm-hmm. Like सारे जो हैं मतलब सब सच है. यहाँ यार ये तो सच है. मतलब ऐसा सच में turn off है. When he doesn't laugh often, it's kind of हाँ something जिसमें तुमको लगेगा कि I think not a jolly person. Smiling yeah. or laughing like. Does he not like me or like what? Like what is his vibe? I mean, it's not fun in general to be around someone who just is not a jolly person. You know? Then he is a mama's boy. I honestly like to an extent. To an extent, they are like like sometimes they only listen to their mother. हाँ उतना ज़्यादा नहीं. But if you're caring and loving and you can. Other than mama's boy. Your, so yeah, but he has his uh, own decision making process and stuff. She doesn't control his life. That's ha huh, that. So that's the type that's of relationship yeah, nice. that I appreciate. Yeah, same. Like mama's right to an extent where you respect your mother, your mother respect you. Um but not like your mom tells you to sit down so you sit down, stand up so you stand up. Yeah, 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 yeah like, like that. Uh or you know someone who is really reliant on his mother. Hmm. Like he expect you to be his other another mother. Like kya karu main? नहीं तो उसके तौलिए लाने पड़ेंगे बाद में खाना बनाना पड़ेगा उसके लिए ट्रू व्हेन इज जस्ट टू नाइस टॉक्सिक गाइस आर बेटर है आई डिस अग्री दिस इज वन ग्लोबल फैक्ट दैट यूजुअली गर्ल्स आर नेचुरली अट्रैक्टेड टू टॉक्सिक बॉयज एंड आई डोंट नो मैन आई कांट रिलेट आई हैव ओनली डेटेड नाइस गाइस बट या आई डू एंड अप ब्रेकिंग अप विद देम सो समथिंग इज रॉन्ग आई थिंक Going on over there, but we'll see. Now here, I would say too nice. No one can be like too nice. If someone is being nice because they're expecting something from you, ha, huh. I think that is wrong. Yeah, but if they're being nice because they genuinely like you, ha, huh. great. And I feel to a point you can tell if the person is being over nice all the time and it's not natural, you can tell. Hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Just be aware of that. Write that down. Write that down. Dry texting. What is what does that mean? Dry texting मतलब एकदम हम्म हो गया ना that is also turn off that's also you know there are also guys who will be interested in you but also dry text you know there are guys who do dry texting but when you meet them in person like बहुत मजा आता है उनके साथ ah. but again गायब हो जाते हैं कुछ दिनों के लिए you know वो ऐसे toxic behaviour no 
I I don't like such. Yeah, same. That was my past relationship. Like damn moody mood swings. Today they want to be a little nice and talk because tomorrow they want to just ghost you out for a while. Mm, yeah, I yeah. am not like into like. Yeah. Um, like basically they expect you to like mold according to their moods and what they want. Yeah. And I, I am not that. Those people are very unstable in their own body. That's why they project it on you. It's yeah. not your fault. Exactly. When they don't need, when they don't have dressing sense. As I said, I don't care, but unless it's the shirt wala thing, they only wear shirts. How we can check our shirts? Hmm. Yeah, we're wearing too many colors like red pants and neon shirt and neon. <laughs> yeah. Just off yeah. a little, yeah. I mean, I don't like guys who are too fashionable. I like basic. I'm really attracted to basic stuff like maybe like a white t-shirt, blue denim, white sneakers. Like basics are like. I actually uh, met this guy yesterday that I was mildly interested in. It was not a date. It was just a friendly meeting, and he was not dressed well. Let me tell you. <laughs> But I still did not judge him based on his dressing sense. So I can tell that it it's not a big deal for me. When they show up at your house uninvited, that's never happened to me. Same. But if you are in a position where a boy comes to your house and you don't really want him to come, and they think they can come in any time and visit you, so and I think that is a little. I mean, I am not that uh, icky about these things. So if anyone wants to show up at my house at any time, I don't really mind. Not people I don't know. <laughs> don't show up. No, you want to guys meet and greet. घर पे इसका एड्रेस लीक करती हूँ यार. Turn off भी होते हैं लड़कियों को. हाँ. कोई लड़के नहीं लिखा हुआ ये रिप्लाइंग हेलो थाउजेंड पैराग्राफ एंड हिम बींग लाइक राइटिंग अफकोर्स दैट लाइक द बिगेस्ट इवन यूर राइटिंग पैराग्राफ इमोशन लाइक एक्सप्रेसिंग योर इमोशन एंड माई गॉड आई फील लाइक स्मैशिंग समथिंग वीडियो थैंक यू गाइज फॉर वॉचिंग